Hey everyone, Matt Pisarsik with RazorEmporium.com coming at you today for the rarest Gillette shave we've ever done. The 1945 Gillette Techmatic Prototype. Let's get started. Okay, we are lathered up with my new go-to Shill 1000. <laughs> just kidding. The Barber Shop and Razor Emporium. I know, I feel so awkward. I always have to say this. I just feel so awkward always using our stuff now, but the people have spoken. I was told to do it by you guys. I'm listening. I gave into peer pressure. Um, but you can see how, how hard of a time I had lathering it. I just had to sit here for 20 minutes. No, uh, about 20 seconds. I got a fantastic lather. So extremely easy. Even using the razor and pouring black and blue, or sorry, not black and blue, uh, blue and gold uh, shave brush. So kind of a cool deal. C custom made with our two colors, blue and gold. Okay. We're lathered. We're now going to get loaded. So I am taking out of my collection, guys, just for you. I've never do this. I never, I never do this. <laughs> I, I took out of the collection a 1945 Techmatic prototype. And if you haven't already done so, I'll have a link down in the description to go to see the Techmatic history video. But in, in short, this was a uh, kind of a executive level prototype that would go up to like the CEO's office or you know, head of sales or something. And it was showing the functionality of a injector style razor that Gillette had been working on for over 20 years, trying to compete with Schick with an injectable double-edged razor. So instead of injecting on one side, you know, with like a Schick, it's actually double side with double-edged razors. And to do that, you have to have this kind of crazy head where the center bar kind of drops out of the way and you can slide a blade over and then re-engage the center bar to bring the cap down. I'm not going to, I sat there trying to see if I could load in a modern blade. I'm not gonna use a vintage blade because I'm not psychotic. Um, but I'm just going to manually load in a Permasharp blade, something I'm familiar with, um, I've used a bunch of times. And yeah, it's a little tricky just to kind of get it lined up, but I think yeah, we got it. Close that baby down. So it's about the size and shape of maybe like a, an aristocrat. And I'm, I'm guessing just off of knowing Gillette, I'm going to burst some bubbles here, guys. Up until the advent of the uh, adjustable series and even the flare tip, you know, red tip, blue tip, before this, Gillette was always going for par. They were going for the normal of the bell curve, the, the, the high point of the bell curve of blade exposure of what guys wanted. They weren't going for the aggressive. They weren't going for the, the, the mild. They were going right in the middle. And so I'm guessing this is going to be a right in the middle, kind of like an aristocrat, like a tech. But we're going to find out. You and me right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. That is nice. You can feel the prototypeness. <laughs> but seriously, uh, it, it's extremely smooth. It's extremely effortless. And my, my uh, hypothesis is correct. It feels a lot like a three-piece tech. I just had shaved yesterday. So 
So not a whole lot of stubble to mow through. But I have been doing daily shaves for almost two months now. So my face is certainly uh, accustomed to what a, a razor should feel like with a daily shave experience. I heard you guys loud and clear. You were ready to tell me to use both sides. I know I never do that. <laughs> I have a double-edged razor and I only use one side usually. Oh yeah. I was very fortunate to acquire this razor from a collector in Canada. And he said he got it from Canadian Gillette factory, but I'm guessing that it was made in America and I think it was just maybe sent to Canada for maybe some people to check out. I don't have the full provenance, but I, I'm 100% sure of what, what it is because I saw um, other razors like this when I was at the Procter & Gamble corporate archives. They had another one or two just like this. Man! You forget how easy and effortless a good double-edged razor is. When everything's right, your lather's right, and your blade pairing and your razor handle are all working in concert. You get a fantastic shave. And I'm just really grateful today. <laughs> grateful to use such a cool razor today with you guys. We, you know, when I did the history video, we said, we gotta do a shave with this. I'm glad we did. And maybe this will kind of pop my cherry for the ability to use some of my, my fancy razors because as you know, I've been a collector uh, and all these Gillette razors that I have, I think of them like little, little soldiers in their cases, all tucked in for the night in my display case, happy, clean, content, satisfied just to be looked upon with affection from myself and our visitors to our Razor Emporium lobby, but Dag nabbit, I think it's time we start using some of these. What do you guys think? If you think I should use more of the Gillette razors from my own collection, give me a thumbs up in the comment. Tell me rock on, Matt. Tell me something about using, using some of my really fancy razors. Maybe I'll do it. Maybe. I got to hear from you guys, though. Uh, I, I know I'm in rare spirits this morning. It's not every day you get to use something like this. It's like a... It's like my birthday shave or something. I mean, this is pretty cool stuff. You know, when you get a great shave and you use something cool, you're excited. Uh, piece of history. I mean, again, for you guys, if you didn't watch the video, just a quick summary. This razor is single-handedly responsible for the, the transition into this. Going towards the system razor started with this. The idea of connecting together your blade system and your handle system and making them function together and kind of marry together, mate together, is the beginning of the system razor as we know it. And that's what Gillette calls stuff like this, a system razor where you, again, you have your blade technology and your handle technology needing to be mated together to operate. And then, and then thus you are ensuring that you're gonna have people buying your stuff, you know, that people have to buy it. and. I know we don't like to talk about that. Double edge is so much more of an open source technology, right? You have any option of blades, any option of handles, any option of soaps and brushes and creams and you know aftershaves. But uh, for a company like Gillette, they wanted to make sure that people come out buying their products. So that's the story, and they're sticking to it. That's all I got too. Uh, let me just throw some balm. Oh man, you ever get that really closeness where you can touch your skin? And it almost like it's tacky stuck to your finger, like in a good way, like in a, wow, that's close. Nice shave. 
We're gonna throw a little bit of Razor Emporium Balm. That's a lot of balm. Um, we'll throw a little Razor Emporium Balm. Every time I say balm, I just can't help but think of Seinfeld. Who told you to put the balm on? I didn't tell you to put the balm on. Why'd you put the balm on? Who told you to put the balm on? <laughs> Jackie Childs or whatever, that attorney who was representing Kramer on Seinfeld after Kramer got burned and he was told to put a balm on, the burn went away, burn went away, and then he couldn't sue them anymore, the coffee company. Yeah, it's a good one. I'm a huge Seinfeld fan, so. Oh, I'm in seventh heaven over here. I feel great. What a wonderful shave. I'm glad we could share it together, you and I. One important note is how to even load this thing and unload it. So if we were doing it with the original dispenser, we would obviously fully use the functionality and we would open up the top, let it pop open. We'd put this here and we'd cycle this little magazine and insert the blade. But the real question is, then how do you get it out? And I actually was worried about that because it's not like a shick where it can shoot out. This side is closed and it can't just pass through those, you know, pieces of brass there and just somehow fold out. So the way I'm gonna go about this is loading it like I would, the top pops right off. We can put the blade on like normal, right? Like it's a three piece almost. Finagle this, not slicing my fingers. Let's try this again. There. Okay, so it is properly inserted. If I wanted to shave, I would just close it down, right? And we're loaded up. Now when we're done, we loosen it, the cap pops again, and this magazine is actually really unique. There's this little tiny uh, piece of sheet metal here, and it's meant to go in and grab somehow <laughs> your blade. I've already seen why this razor did not do so well. I've got it in there. Yep, I can't do it, guys. Wait, maybe. Yeah, I could see how your average person couldn't do this at all. Oh. I mean, I that was that wasn't very elegant. <laughs> but you get the point that uh and I it may not be functioning right because again, I'm not cycling this thing through, but I did have it this this slide all the way up as far as it would go on the stops. But basically the blade is supposed to get kind of caught, I'm guessing, like that, where that part hooks in and can pull your blade out. And that's actually what it shows in the directions. Uh, I did get a copy of the directions. I took a picture when I was at PNG. It's just awkward. Let's just not get around it. The schick is so much more elegant that you can just just cycle that thing and it's it's like a it's like a semi-automatic rifle right that's a, you know, or a bolt action rifle that's what it's supposed to be like where it's just shooting out the 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 shell right uh this is trying to like extract it like grab onto it and pull it backwards i can see why this failed <laughs> thanks so much for checking out our channel today if you leave a comment about the next razor we should crack out of the case you're entered into win one of these, the Razor Emporium official black and blue t-shirt. Thanks so much for checking out this video. Share it with all your friends. Like it, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you next time at Razor Emporium for all things vintage shaving. Thanks, guys.